all want to be young. It's attractive. It's an explosion of hormones. It's sexy. Healthy. Don't take drugs! Don't take drugs! Well, maybe not. But there's more. Young people represent new languages and behaviors, and they're directly influencing consumer habits. They're positioned at the top of the influence pyramid and are aspirational to those younger than them and inspirational to the older. Today's young generation, known as Generation Y, G, we, globalists, digital youth, millennials, whatever, is the largest in absolute numbers on a global perspective. And they have crazy buying power when compared to their parents when they were young. It's funny because this important role of the youth today has its roots precisely in the baby boomer generation. They were born in the post-World War II, in the 40s and 50s. Insecure and impatient, they pushed for big changes. They were the first generation to conquer the right to be young, inventing what came to be known as the youth lifestyle. If your time to you is worth saving, then you better start swimming or you'll sink like a stone for the times they are a-changing. They were handed the keys to the house and the freedom to come and go. They took over the academic centers, big festivals, and streets. Because of this, they were nicknamed Liberated Youth. From the outside, it seemed they were a little nutty, but the talk of peace, love, free sex, and flower power stayed influencing behavior till today. And actually, all of that must have been pretty fun. And speaking of fun, we can't forget about Generation X. Born in the 60s and 70s, they enjoyed the rights conquered by the baby boomers, living a guilt-free search for pleasure. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. Uneasy and enthusiastic, they pushed for new major changes. Inside their houses, they're the bosses of their bedrooms and have taken control of their individualities. Generation X is in love with stereotypes, fed by marketing and publicity boom. As much as in the corporate universe as in entertainment, Generation X is remembered as the competitive youth. It's not just a job for him, it's a war. But now is a whole different game. Young people have changed the rules again. Known as the first global youth, millennials not only have the keys to their house and their domain, they have also taken over the world. Yeah, full access to it. Steered by the internet, their identities are transcending the place they're from. isn't happening by pure coincidence. Globalized consumerism promotes aesthetic and behavioral connections with other youth around the world. The internet is allowing personal content to gain stratospheric dimensions, where everything can be remixed. Whoa, that's a full rainbow all the way. Double rainbow, oh my god. Over just a few days, content can turn into various global internet memes. He's climbing your windows, he's snatching your people up, trying to rape them, so you need to hide your kids, hide your wife, hide Also your kids, acquiring relevance outside of the network. <laughs> Uh, 
Obviously, all of this has consequences. The excess of information and possibilities is causing this young generation to have general chronic anxiety. It's getting more and more necessary for them to choose the right filters to organize their experiences with all of that content and people in their lives. The fear of being overwhelmed and lost among the crowd forces them to use hyperbolic languages to express themselves. I am like so in love with Twilight. Let it bring it alone. It's not always easy to understand what millennials are saying. That's because they've developed a non-linear way of thinking that exactly reflects the language of the internet where an infinity of subjects can be followed at the same time. For these millennials, it is natural to start out with something and end up in somewhere else. But do not panic, it's organic. Today is cool to know and be various things at the same time. It's a lot different than in the 80s when young people had radical vision about the power of groups. You were one thing or another. In the 90s, the power of the tribes was no longer such a cool thing to be associated with. Some started calling themselves normal in order to pass through the different groups. Today, being normal has become boring. And in spite of neutralizing differences, it is cool to express them. Una dos pizza. All the single ladies, 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 all the single ladies. It is possible to be a surfer, DJ, rocker, nerd, cinephile, designer at the same time. We're talking about the most plural youth generation in history. It is a plurality which guarantees that the young can simultaneously recognize themselves even with their personal differences. Their new extended social network has resulted in a bigger number of short-term style personal relationships. It is also visible in their work, in which traditional career plans and hierarchical systems are losing strength. More and more, they want to unite work with pleasure. But that's not so they can achieve a hedonistic lifestyle. Pleasure comes in pre-programmed breaks. Young millennials are pragmatic. They're also more realistic. Their big idols aren't the most idealized figures but instead are common people who realize small possible dreams that aren't utopic. They are the faces of the new economy, ruled by open source and crowdsourcing and independent initiatives that, with the power of the internet, can have an immeasurable impact. This collective conscience is the zeitgeist of the future, leading to a scenario of opportunities. But it's not easy. The new is always intimidating. A lot of things that were not immediately understood in the past are today considered natural behavior. You can understand and take part or comfortably sit and follow along. In the end, to be young is sexy and fun, but it's a lot more than that. It comes with questions and big ambitions. If you think you already know enough and are at peace with your place in the world, well then congratulations, you're officially dead. More than ever before, in order to understand the world, it is necessary to understand these youths, who are the catalysts to big changes. And there's an added bonus. To understand the evolution of the world is a search that will keep us young forever.